Well, Alicia Keenan, there's big concern among council members with how this is being regulated. It was back at the beginning of December that the state of Michigan gave the green light to sell recreationally, but now the city of Detroit putting the brakes on things, trying to figure out how to legislate the sales. Now, again, the state of Michigan gave that green light at the beginning of December, but there is an ordinance here in Detroit stating that shops cannot apply recreationally until January 31st. If today's ordinance is approved, it would push back the date to the end of March. Shops in Ann Arbor have already started selling recreationally. Greenhouse of Wad Lake was approved to begin selling recreationally, although no date has been set. There is only one shop in Wayne County selling recreationally. Recreationally. That's first quality meds in River Rouge, which announced they are selling recreationally last week. Now, there is concern over how recreational marijuana will help people living here in Detroit. Take a look at this Facebook post from Councilman James Tate. He writes, it's clear those in medical marijuana industry are operated by those outside of the city. He wants to make sure the money from recreational marijuana goes back into the city. Writing in part, we have to use this legislation to identify ways to reduce the financial barriers of entry and eliminate the structural obstacles that many urban cities are seeking to resolve among communities of color. Now, Detroit Police Chief James Craig did state that they're seeing an uptick in violent crimes because of marijuana on the black market, associating that uptick to 60% in violent crimes, including assault and homicide this year. Reporting live from downtown Detroit, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News.